Collins was a member of the historic Apollo 11 mission, where humans took their first steps on the moon. In Apollo 11, when they got there, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong hopped into the LEM to go to the surface, leaving Michael Collins, a third astronaut, all alone. The Apollo 11 mission stands as one of humanity's greatest feats, etching its mark in history books forever. It's that incredible journey where we sent people to the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, those fearless explorers, became the first ones to step onto the lunar surface. But did you know there was another astronaut on that epic ride? His name is Michael Collins, and he's not as famous as Armstrong and Aldrin, but he played a crucial role. Now, Collins is breaking his silence and revealing some seriously spooky stuff they encountered up there. So why is Collins sharing these secrets now? What did they really find on the moon? Join us as we unravel this cosmic mystery and dive into the spine-tingling tale that Apollo 11's Michael Collins has to tell. Think back to the year 1969, a time of incredible scientific exploration and human curiosity. The world was captivated by the Apollo 11 mission, a daring adventure that aimed to achieve what was once thought impossible, sending people to the moon. You've probably heard Neil Armstrong's famous words as he took his first steps on the moon's surface. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was like a declaration of victory for all of humanity. But let's dive deeper into the story. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, two brave astronauts, suited up and stepped out of their spacecraft onto the moon's dusty ground. They were in awe of the unfamiliar landscape, a place where no human had ever been before. They collected samples, conducted experiments, and even planted the American flag, symbolizing their historic achievement. However, there's a lesser known hero in this tale, Michael Collins. While Neil and Buzz explored the moon, Michael stayed behind in the command module, orbiting around the moon. He was the one responsible for ensuring their safe return home. Imagine the pressure he felt knowing that his colleagues' lives depended on his precise calculations and skills. Speaking about Michael Collins, he was a skilled pilot and astronaut who joined the ranks of the Apollo team. Born in Italy, he grew up in a military family and developed a passion for aviation and space. He flew fighter jets, tested aircraft, and even performed spacewalks. His journey led him to the pivotal role of command module pilot for Apollo 11. In fact, without Michael Collins, the entire Apollo 11 mission could have faced some serious troubles. Let's dive deeper into his role and see just how crucial he was to the success of this historic journey. You see, the rendezvous and docking part of the mission was like threading a needle in space. Imagine trying to connect two moving spaceships in the vastness of the cosmos. That's what Collins had to orchestrate. This wasn't a simple task. It was one of the most challenging aspects of the mission. A tiny miscalculation could have meant that the lunar module, the one that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin used to explore the moon's surface, would drift away from the command module where Collins was. Think about it. If that happened, it would have thrown the whole mission into chaos. Collins had the lives of his crewmates in his hands, and the success of the entire mission depended on this intricate dance of spaceships. It's like he was the conductor of a space symphony, making sure everything was in harmony. But Collins didn't stop there. He was the guardian of the command module, the spaceship that would take them all back home. He checked and double-checked every system, making sure they were all functioning perfectly. This included critical things like life support, keeping the air breathable, so his fellow astronauts could breathe easy while exploring the moon. Communication was key, too. Collins was like the middleman between the moonwalkers and mission control back on Earth. He made sure the messages flowed smoothly, and all the important data and discoveries were shared in real time. Just imagine, while Neil and Buzz were making history on the moon, Collins was the one making sure the world knew about it. But let's talk about Collins' perspective. You know, he wasn't just a space mechanic. He had a unique view from his lonely spot in the command module. He understood that if something went wrong during the moonwalk, he might have had to make the journey back to Earth all by himself. That's an immense responsibility and pressure, but Collins remained cool-headed and focused, knowing that his crewmates were relying on him. And that's not all. Collins played a vital role in the crucial maneuver called Trans-Earth Injection. It's like giving the spaceship a boost to break free from the moon's grip and head back home. Just like a slingshot, Collins had to calculate the exact moment and force to set them on the right path. Precision was key, and Collins nailed it. Now think about this. Collins spent a lot of time in the command module, orbiting the moon alone. For 21 hours, he floated in the emptiness of space, watching the moon from a distance. Imagine the thoughts that must have crossed his mind during those quiet moments. He described it as serene solitude, 
not loneliness. It's like he found a peaceful connection with the universe during his solo journey. Collins was completely isolated when he found himself on the enigmatic far side of the moon. During each orbit, a veil of silence descended upon him due to the moon's peculiar radio-blocking effects on that side. The electromagnetic waves emitted by the moon's far side possess the unique ability to traverse space, yet they can also be absorbed by celestial bodies that stand in their path. This presented a challenging scenario for Collins as he circled behind the moon. Cut off from terrestrial transmitters and receivers, he existed in a state of solitary isolation, devoid of any communication with his colleagues, mission control, or anyone on Earth. This extraordinary predicament stemmed from the fact that Collins was the trailblazer, the very first human to venture to this uncharted territory. While Collins didn't physically touch the surface of the moon's far side, he still holds the distinction of being the first to lay eyes on it, standing alone in the vast cosmic emptiness. This stands in stark contrast to the Apollo 8 mission, during which the crew members orbited the moon together, sharing the experience of radio silence. The intriguing conversations that may have unfolded amongst those men as they floated in the void can only be left to the imagination. Collins had to bide his time until he swung around to the near side of the moon, the side facing Earth, in order to regain communication with his colleagues and mission control. This wasn't just a case of radio silence. The far side of the moon demonstrated an extraordinary characteristic, radio quietness. It existed in a state free from the interference of radio frequencies generated by human activity. This remarkable feature made the moon's far side an ideal haven for radio astronomers. Its serene radio environment allowed for the detection of faint signals from distant cosmic sources, without the disruptive influence of our technological noise. However, this noise-canceling quality was absent on the moon's near side, which continuously faces Earth and is bombarded by radio interference. The far side's unique attributes, including its lack of a substantial ionosphere, a layer of charged particles in the upper atmosphere that can impact cosmic radio signals, caught the attention of astronomers. This curiosity led to the Chang'e 4 mission in 2019, when China successfully landed a rover on the moon's far side, specifically in the von Karman crater within the South Pole Aitken Basin. One of the primary objectives of the Chang'e 4 mission was to conduct low-frequency radio astronomical observations. Equipped with a small antenna, the lunar rover relied on a relay satellite stationed at the Earth-Moon L2 Lagrangian point where gravitational forces are balanced. This strategic positioning enabled effective communication between the rover, the lander, and Earth. The far side of the moon remained an alluring realm for exploration, despite the communication challenges it posed. Collins' unique experience during his solo orbits around the moon offered moments of unparalleled tranquility. As he drifted through the cosmos, observing Earth from a distant vantage point, the silence allowed him to adopt a novel perspective. He was able to embrace Earth's beauty in an entirely new light, fostering a profound appreciation for the planet. During these periods of solitude, Collins likely contemplated his own insignificance within the vast expanse of the universe. The moon, Earth, and the entire cosmic backdrop appeared as mere brush strokes on the grand canvas of space. Collins' experience closely aligns with the concept known as the overview effect, which refers to the transformative shift in perception that astronauts often undergo when viewing Earth from space. The overview effect triggered a revelation within Collins. It deepened his understanding of the delicate nature of our planet, emphasizing its vulnerability and the interconnectedness of all life upon it. His newfound awareness kindled a fervent dedication to environmental conservation. Post-Apollo 11, Collins became a passionate advocate for safeguarding Earth's ecosystems. He implored people to adopt a more responsible stance towards their home planet and urged leaders to prioritize its preservation. Furthermore, Collins' prolonged isolation in space spurred him to grapple with existential inquiries, catalyzing paradigm shifts in his beliefs and reshaping his worldview. The experience that he penned in his autobiography, aptly titled Carrying the Fire, led him to ponder the deeper meaning of the universe and the role of humanity within it. This once-in-a-lifetime journey into space kindled Collins' conviction in a universe designed with purpose and order, a viewpoint that diverged from his previous stance as a non-religious individual. Collins' unique encounter with the vast cosmos fostered a profound spiritual outlook. The structured elegance of the universe, rather than chaotic randomness, began to shape his understanding of existence. A period of solitude, during which he was arguably the loneliest person on Earth, evolved into a badge of honor that he wore with pride. Collins' celestial journey offered him not just an opportunity to explore space, but also to ponder the very essence of life itself. 
The questions that Collins grappled with during his solitary orbits transcend time and have occupied the minds of humanity for generations. Who are we? What is our purpose within the grand tapestry of existence? How can we best safeguard our precious world from imminent threats? These are the same fundamental questions that have both haunted and inspired humanity throughout the course of its history. Collins, in his role as the silent sentinel of the Apollo 11 mission, not only advanced humanity's exploration of space, but also prompted a deeper introspection into our place in the universe. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about these mysterious discoveries related to the far side of the moon? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.